Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes in Unreal Engine 4. Today's episode, I'm going to be going over the Do Once node, how it works, what it is, and how you can use it in your games. So as it sounds, a Do Once node means all the code after it is only done once. So even if this is off event tick, it will only do all of it once until you reset it. Now this is useful if, for example, you want a player to only be able to open a door once. Once it's open, that's it. Or once it's open and closed, that's it. You can't open it again. So for example, if you're going into a haunted house or something, you open the door, it's closed, that's it, you can't get back out again. And so to do this, you'd have the start of the door as the normal, so you'd have the begin and end overlaps going into the open and close of the gate, with the enter as the E key. I do have more in-depth videos on how to do this if you want, but this is essentially how we interact with our door to open it. And then after this gate, so where your door code is, we're going to come out of exit, we're going to get a do once node like that. We're going to come out of the completed and we're going to open our door. So for me to do that, I'm going to need the level sequence as that's how I'm opening it this time. Get a reference to that, come out of this, and play off of the sequence player like that, and just plug that in there. So now, when we open our door, it's only going to play this animation once, so we'll only open the door once. So if we compile and test this, we see that if we hit play, and go over here, and we press E, the door will open. Now if we press E again, nothing's happening. So we can open the door, but we can only do this once. So we press E, the door opens, however this is only doing this once. If we continue to try, nothing will happen. However, you can reset this, so if you want to be able to redo this code, for example opening door, you can. So for example, if we have a key press to reset it, we can do that. So I'm just going to use the K keyboard event to be able to do that at the moment. So I just get that like so. I'm going to come out of press, I'm also going to get a print string just saying reset just so I am aware that is what I'm doing and I'm just going to plug this code into the reset input on the do once so essentially anything that goes into the reset is what needs to happen to obviously reset this node so we have that now so if we again compile and try this again now if I open the door it does this so as normal if we try it again nothing happens but if I press K you see it says reset at the top obviously I spelled that wrong so just did it quickly but we have reset and if I do this again, it opens it. So obviously it's just doing the open animation because I've just set this up very quickly, but that works. So we can't do this anymore. We've done it once, we've reset. We can now do it again as many times as we want as long as we are resetting it. But again, once we reset it, we can only open it once more. Then I'll need to reset it again. And you can reset it with anything. It doesn't just have to be a button press. It can be a box collision, a variable which is true or false, or even so many seconds after you open the door for the first time. It's as easy as that. So again, you choose anything that you want to reset this with and any line of code after this. What it means, it will only do it once and it will then reset when you put that in. So in summary, a do once node means that all of the code of the completed will only be executed once. After that, it can't be executed again at all unless you fire off the code going into the reset input as well. So that's this quick video of today on explaining what a do once node is in Unreal. So I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And make sure to leave a comment down below on any future recommendations or requests on which nodes you'd like covering and on how I can improve these videos at all if they need improving. So I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.